Hey guys, it's me again. Come on, Yanny. Come on, Yanny. Oh, come. Come here. She's ridiculous. <laughs> this dog. No bite. Oh, dang. You just want to lick all my chopstick off. As promised, I put out a tweet a few days ago asking you guys to ask me some questions that I will answer in the video. So here we are. I chose the best spot in the house in front of the Christmas tree that I put together. I'm obsessed with this tree. I think it looks super cute. I even wrapped some presents to put down there to look even cuter. Now I would do this video in front of the main Christmas tree, which is upstairs, but now that it's dark outside, lighting's weird. I don't want like reflections and stuff. So I decided to do it on the little one down here. Also, this one's my favorite. Now there were a lot of questions. I mean, a lot. So I spent the past few days picking through them, choosing my favorites, putting them in a folder, and so I'm just gonna answer them at random. And I'm also gonna do the best I can at answering them. It is very hard for me to open up and be personal um, with somebody, let alone with people on the internet. <laughs> um, so we'll see how this goes. You guys are opening me up. I figured, you know, like, if, you're, if you guys are watching my videos, you guys should get to know me more and who you're watching. So I felt like this was a good idea. Jenny, shh. Can we not squeak ducky? You probably hear them throughout the video, I'm sorry. But before I jump in, I just wanna say thank you everybody that has subscribed. If you have not already, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. We've already hit 20K. Um, and I, I want to eventually get to be able to do a giveaway. I'm thinking maybe when I hit 50K. Now I know 50K is like a huge number. Insane. I mean, I'm surprised we even hit 20K. I was blown away. But I feel like, I feel like we could do it. I feel like we can get there. So on the road to 50K and at 50K, I will do a giveaway. I'm not sure yet what it is. I have some time to think about it but there will definitely be a giveaway. Also, if I answered any of your questions in this video, please hit the like button or just hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more. It really helps me out. Okay, now let's jump right in. Creations asks, are you and Jesse back together? Yes, we are back together. I encourage you to watch his latest video if you haven't already of us getting back together, the whole montage. I was completely surprised by the montage. So hopefully, hopefully we're good this time. I am living with him in the PA house right now, spending the holidays together and we're gonna make it work. Rich asks, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. So Brittany asks, what is something you like to do around the holidays, any favorite tradition? So around the holidays, I love baking, I love decorating, I love putting the tree up, I love all the you know traditional Christmassy things. This year is going to look a little different um, now that we're living in PA. I'm not really sure uh, what we're gonna do for the holidays. We might just spend the holidays, you know, just me and him together with the pups. Some of those traditions I might not be able to do this year because a lot of them have to do around my family. But um, I'm excited to start new traditions. Um, one tradition I like to do is make monkey bread. I've done it every year. Um, and that's something I do with my mom every Christmas Eve. Another tradition I like to do is hang up a heart ornament on the trees. Um, they're literally my favorite. Here's the heart ornament. It's a glass heart. So that's like a tradition for me to hang on the Christmas tree. Every December 23rd, I like to spend the entire day just baking. I like to bake all my favorite cookies, pies, cakes, everything, um, to then eat for the duration of Christmas, like a week. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. I always post pictures of my cookies. They're not like the best looking, they're just your traditional Christmas, you know, peanut butter, chocolate chip, random cookies. It's, it's something that I love to do. I love baking. Um, and you know, tying that together with the holidays and Christmas time, it's, it's very special to me. Jenny, get out of there. She will not leave this tree alone. Kyrie asks, favorite part about making videos? Is it the connection with people making the video? Um, I think I, I really love the connection with people. Each platform reaches a certain amount and like certain amount of people and different people. 
so you know YouTube I feel like I've, I've hit a lot more people than I have say you know just Twitter or people that follow me on Instagram each each have their own benefits I do love making the video but honestly I find myself enjoying actually editing the video more than I like actually doing the video <laughs> and I don't know I get I get really nervous in front of the camera especially if it's just me and I'm just talking to the camera but I, I really like editing it and then watching the end result and I'm like okay so it was a good video when while I'm doing the video I'm thinking you know I don't think this sounds good or I don't know if this will be a good video but then once I put it in the editor do everything and I'm like, okay, it's good. I don't have to do it again. It's great. <laughs> Chris asks, favorite HelloFresh meal? Wow, we've had a lot of HelloFresh meals. <laughs> but I think one of my favorites is the Steakhouse Pork Chops. They are really good. Now, I'm not a big pork chop fan, but the way, it's all about like the way you season things. Um, they have a season it like a steak, so actually like it tastes like you're eating a steak. Also, one time I got the risotto dinner now I've never had risotto before and making it was like difficult I didn't know like it took so much time and effort into making a risotto dish but I actually love risotto now since eating that and I, I don't see it on the, um, the the weekly list that often but we only had it one time, but I'm like, I always think of that risotto dish and I wish I had it more often. Linda asks, any goals for 2021? So, um, going into 2021, I hope it's better than 2020, obviously. Um, although I, I didn't have that bad of a 2020. Um, I was able to, you know, stay safe, stay healthy. I was fortunate with that. Um, but with 2021, I, I hope to see this channel, you know, grow more. I wasn't expecting to make a YouTube, but it just happens. And now that I see people are enjoying the content, um, I hope to grow it more and I hope to make content that you guys enjoy watching. So that, that that's a goal for me. <laughs> Nick asks, favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, I love ice cream. Um, I think if I have like two favorites. Number one would be chocolate chip cookie dough, and then number two would be peanut butter ripple with the, the vanilla ice cream with the peanut butter ripple, not the chocolate, vanilla. Black Phantom 703 asks, if you could go anywhere in the world of choice, where would you go? There's a lot of choices, but right now in the moment, I think I would like to go to Hawaii. The only thing like keeping me a little hesitant in going is the trip there i know it takes a long time to get there from the east coast um but i think i think it'd be beautiful to go and they have beautiful weather beautiful scenery if i had to take a vacation anywhere it would probably like like nine times out of ten be near a beach you gonna help me answer some questions Mythic Badger 985 asks, what was your favorite memory with Jesse? Now, we have a lot of good memories together, but I think my favorite memory, what are you sniffing? My favorite memory with him is probably the night that we met. After we both swiped right on each other on Tinder, we met up, um, and I think my favorite memory was just that night together. We. I came over, we played VR for a couple hours. It was the first time I've ever played VR. I thought it was like so cool. <laughs> I, I played um, job simulation. So like I was, you know, in the kitchen, like cooking and like stuff like that. So we played that for a couple hours and then we watched a Netflix movie called Gehenna. It was an awful, awful movie. It was so bad that it was funny. Um, so we kind of were just laughing the whole time. So I think that is at the top for my favorite memory with him. And that's also when we really like connected and found out we do have a connection. And we have some things in common with each other and yeah, it was good. <laughs> Cody Cook asks, what is your favorite song in the world? My favorite song in the world would have to be Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. I've always loved that song ever since I was little. Actually, during my 21st birthday, my family and I went to the Florida Keys. What are you doing? Jenny. I don't know what her problem is. 
So during my 21st birthday, um, my family took me out for dinner and we ended up at this bar, <laughs> of course. And they were, there was a band and my family like secretly like went, you know, to talk to somebody behind the bar and was like, can you pull her up on stage? It's her 21st. So it happened. <laughs> I got pulled up on stage. It was me and some other girls celebrating her 21st also. My family told them what my favorite song was. So the band started you know, playing it, so we had a mic and we were singing it. It was ridiculous. Um, I was way out of my comfort zone. Brie asked, what was it like starting your own YouTube channel for the very first time? Were you a bit nervous? And what are your plans for 2021? So yes, I was very nervous to start my own YouTube channel. I've always said, and even the people on stream know that I've always said that I will never have my own YouTube channel. You'll only see me, you know, in other people's content. And I was fine with that, but, I, I then did get curious a little bit about how it works. I, I'm not really sure my plans for 2021 with this channel yet, but I do plan on making more content and finding out what you guys like to see from me. So I obviously want to grow this channel. Um, just, just basically make content that you guys want to keep watching. As long as you guys want to keep watching it, uh, I'll be here. <laughs> Mythic Badger asks, how and when would you manage starting your teaching career now that you've moved out of your home state and that we're still in a pandemic? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't have any plans right now about starting the teaching career anytime soon, especially with the pandemic, everything going on. And then now that I moved out in PA, I would have to redo my praxis tests and get my certification transferred over to PA. It, ta it takes, you know, a lot of work to get it transferred to a new state. So right now there's a lot of uncertainty. So I don't think it's smart for me right now to start it. I can start it whenever I want. Right now, it just doesn't make sense for me to start that. Caitlin asks, what is your favorite show on Netflix? So my favorite show for the longest time was 13 Reasons Why. I'm kind of sad that they don't have another season coming out. That was my favorite. That was the only one that I honestly could keep up with. I did watch Stranger Things, but I didn't watch the last season. I kind of just got bored with it. And then honestly, I did wait for Jesse to catch up on season two before we both started season three and I got tired of waiting and he never watched it. And I kind of just forgot about it. Robert asks, what is the best part you're going to miss about 2020? So one of the best parts about 2020 was graduating college. It took me seven years to graduate. I finally did it. All I ever knew was school. So transitioning from being a student to then being an adult, being on your own, um, I think I am going to miss that simple lifestyle of just going to school, coming home, doing school work. It's, it still doesn't feel real to me. I still feel like I should be going to school and I should be doing school work and writing papers. So this is definitely like a weird transition period that I'm in right now. I'm not saying that I miss going to college, but I miss the simplicity and I feel like I had like less responsibility because I was still a college student. <laughs> Ashley asks, what is your favorite thing about Nick? Is he single? My favorite thing <laughs> about Nick is that he is very respectful. Is he single? No. He does have a girlfriend. <laughs> Nicholas of the Air asks, how did you come up with the name for your cute dog, Mason? Oh, your breath stinks. So Mason, when I first got him, he was actually nameless for a few days. I kept coming up with names and my family didn't really care for the names that I was picking. So um, actually the idea came to me when I saw a Mason jar sitting on the counter. And I was like, why don't we name him Mason? So. The name stuck ever since. <laughs> Raymation, my favorite. He's so cute. What are you smelling? Crispy Crumb asks, any holiday plans with Jesse or your parents? For the holidays this year, I think Jesse and I are just gonna spend them together with the puppies and make our own traditions this year, especially, you know, with COVID and everything going on, we don't really wanna risk anything. Where our hometown is, COVID has been pretty bad. I think we're just gonna play it safe and just spend the holidays together. Noelle asks, before coming across Jesse, what were you expecting to come out of Tinder? 
honestly don't know what I was expecting. Um, I guess any type of connection I can have with somebody. At the time, I was... Bless you. At the time, I was in college. I would go out Thursday nights with my friends to the college bar down the street. So we would go out, get drinks and stuff. But like after a while, that got tiring. I got tired of meeting people and meeting guys when they were like just drunk, you know? Like it just wasn't fun. It was very uncomfortable situations. I feel like I couldn't have a connection with anybody because they were just out drinking and partying with their friends. So I made a Tinder in the hopes that I would, you know, find a connection with somebody that wasn't drunk. And also being an education major, my classes were like 95% female. So there wasn't any way of meeting a guy during my classes. So yeah. <laughs> Malone asks, do you like any MBE episodes? Mine's Little Gangbanger and Judgment Day. Jesse and I together watched through MBE, I think it was May. I think if you go back and on his Twitter, he Got like all my reactions to all the big moments during MVE. I absolutely loved MVE. I thought it was brilliant. I would love to sit down and watch through it all again because I, I did binge watch and I feel like doing like binge watching, I, I do miss some things along the way. So to now know everything that happens and then to now watch through it again, see if I can like pick up some pieces and try and figure things out. I, I definitely want to do that sometime. But yes, I did like Little Gangbanger. I thought it was so crazy finding out that Solomon was a little girl. I did not see that coming, was not expecting that. I thought that was genius. Throughout the series, I think like the number one thing that blew me away the most was finding that out. But now like knowing that, now I want to go back and watch it and kind of pick up on how Solomon was talking throughout the whole series and, and kind of see, you know, like, oh, okay, that was a nine-year-old. I, I think I would pick up on that now, but through, you know, the time watching it, I didn't. So yeah, that was, that was brilliant. <laughs> Matt Skillet Guy has favorite horror film. My favorite horror series is Halloween. Uh, with Mike Myers. I I love the music for it. I, I don't know why I'm just obsessed with the Halloween series and the whole mask thing. I love the story. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm weird like that. I When I hear the song, I actually get like excited. I don't know why, because you're not supposed to get excited when you hear the Halloween song, because that's when you know that Michael is like creeping up behind you. I, I just love it. Marshall asks, are you going on any more trips with Jesse in the future? I'm sure we'll go on more trips, but we have nothing planned right now. COVID is worse than ever right now, so we don't plan on getting on an airplane anytime soon. If anything, it would have to be some type of road trip. And it sucks because we did have some plans this year for 2020 to travel, but that all got held up and who knows when we'll get to be able to do that. Hopefully 2021 will be better, but We'll see. King Link asks, how do you like the experience of being a YouTuber? In all caps. <laughs> I do enjoy the experience. I didn't think I would. That's why I said I would never make one. I didn't think this is something I would enjoy doing, but I surprised myself. And honestly, even more, you guys surprised me because you guys keep coming back and watching my stuff. So yeah, this is this has been so fun. This is, I mean, I now have something, you know, I can dedicate my time to and kind of also get my mind off of things going on in the world. So yeah, th this has been a lot of fun so far and I hope it, I hope it keeps going. George Morris asks, have you ever lost someone or something close to you? How would you explain the feeling to someone that's never lost a friend or a loved one? I have lost some loved ones. I've lost grandparents. I've lost friends. Grief is a very hard thing to deal with and everybody deals with it differently. So don't think that, you know, the way that you're feeling after losing somebody is the right way or the wrong way to feel. Um, some positive ways to deal with it is to, you know, go for a walk, talk to somebody. I think that's the most important. If you're feeling sad or anxious or anything about losing somebody, talk to somebody. Do some things that make you happy. I know, you know, grief, it's a very hard thing to deal with. Now this past spring, I lost one of our family dogs. That was very unexpected. She was only two years old. 
So, um, so losing her, honestly, like I was a mess. And my family was too, it's very unexpected. It's not something that you think is gonna happen, but things happen. I think I could have handled it better than the way I did. What I did was I try not to think about it. I try not to think of her and the whole passing and everything. So I'm still dealing with it now. <laughs> Having somebody there for you is definitely important. I don't think I can finish this question, so. All right, the last question, I had to do some jumping jacks because it just got me in my feels. Tronic Studios asks, what is your favorite animated slash cartoon show from your childhood? Uh, I had a lot. I mean, I loved Blue's Clues, Cat Dog, Rug rap, but I think my favorite would have to be Spongebob just because like episodes and sayings are still relevant today I still quote it every once in a while. Um, I love using Spongebob gifts for things So I mean I could you know even just say a quote and everybody would know what it's from you know like sometimes if I just trip I'll be like my leg You know that's from Spongebob. <laughs> I think it's timeless. I think Everybody should watch it. Um, I think everybody has watched it. If you haven't, please go watch SpongeBob. Cash Minier, what was the first video Jesse ever showed you? I think the first one he ever showed me was the one where his dad ran over his video games with a lawnmower. When we first met, he told me, you know, what he does and who he is. So I kind of did my own research and I went and looked at his videos and honestly for me doing my own digging it wasn't looking good for him honestly there was a part of me where i was like this dude's crazy and this almost didn't become a thing yeah fun fact <laughs> navea is has any of jesse's fans recognized you in public uh there was one time where somebody recognized me but they couldn't remember my name all they remembered was i was that girl from the disney video and that was last winter we were, we went to the movie theater. And even that was weird to even just have somebody just recognize me, you know? I haven't had like a fan encounter yet. Um, yeah, I don't, I honestly don't know what I would do in the moment. I don't know if I'd be like feeling awkward or awkwardly laughing or if I'd be like pumped. I honestly don't know because it hasn't happened. <laughs> Sean Birmingham asks, what is your favorite genre of music? I enjoy all music, basically whatever mood I'm in lately. Obviously I'm in the Christmas mood, so I've been listening to a lot of classic Christmas songs. Actually, let me pull up my Pandora because it's, let me tell you how crazy it is. It's all over the place. Yeah, I know I use Pandora, I don't use Spotify. So we got Christmas radio, Elton John radio, Britney Spears radio, Love Songs Radio, Panic at the Disco, Matchbox 20, Garth Brooks, Queen, Jonas Brothers, uh, Khalid, Beyonce, Zach Brown Band, Meatloaf, Bee Gees, Machine Gun Kelly, Paramore. It's all over the place. If it's good, I listen to it. Emily Morgan asks, what's your favorite TV show? I do watch a lot of TV. Um, I think my favorite TV show would be Sex and the City. I'm really into that right now. I also love Grey's Anatomy. I love ER. KS, what does it feel like to constantly be on camera? Okay, like at first was a weird and then you got used to it. So, <laughs> good question, Kate. I wouldn't say that I'm constantly on camera, but to be in front of the camera is definitely weird. I still, I mean, I've been in front of the camera a lot within the past year and I still feel like I'm not used to it. Doing this right now is difficult. <laughs> it's still difficult for me to be on camera and I don't think that'll ever go away. And I don't think it should go away. There's always gonna be a level of discomfort, but you should always do what is uncomfortable for you. You need to do things out of your discomfort every once in a while. That's very important. <laughs> Latka with the would you rather fight 50 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I'll go with the first one. Omar Barry asks, what is the thing that you wanted to do this year when the pandemic started? Also, how did you meet Jess? So Jess and I met on Tinder a year and a half ago. So something I wanted to do this year was to travel. Unfortunately, the pandemic got in the way, couldn't do those things, but we did have plans to visit London, you know, go to the Caribbean, just do like fun, different new things. 
but unfortunately we never got to do those, which is fine. You know, we have a lifetime to travel. It's no rush to do it all right now. But despite not being able to do those things, I was able to finish college. In the beginning of the year, we were able to travel. We went on a cruise in January. We went to like seven different like islands. It was insane, so much fun. Um, but then, you know, living together, we did have some fun times. So, you know, 2020 wasn't a, a complete bust, but um, it did put a wrench in some plans, but there's always gonna be time to do, you know, the things that we wanted to do. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Dude is Preston and his favorite memory with Jeff Saxon. <laughs> I think my favorite memory with him is shoving him through the mirror. Maria, so what is your degree you graduated in? So my degree is early childhood education with a dual major in writing arts and an endorsement in creative writing. It's long. <laughs> That's why it took me seven years. Ridiculous. Disney Adventure Vlogs asks, will you ever visit Disney World during COVID? So for a while I did consider it because I saw a lot of TikToks saying that you know, Disney's safe, they have a lot of precautions. There were um, people in the parks like videoing and like showing like social distance, everyone wearing their masks and stuff, and how they limited the amount of people that were at the parks. And I was like, okay, like this sounds legit. Like, you know, I can do this. But then I saw a TikTok that said, you know, all of that in one video, and then they came back a week later with another TikTok and it said, um, they're like, yeah, like, despite all the precautions and everything we posted, we did end up getting COVID. Um, they're like, I don't know where we got it from, but we got it in Disney. And I was like, oh my gosh, nope, never mind. <laughs> so I don't think so. Steer Hex asks, what is it like being on Storyfire? Storyfire is great. I love the community on there. Everybody's great. Everybody's so encouraging and happy. And I love, you know, posting my pictures and giving blaze to people. And I just, I love the tight knit community on there. So if you're not on there, please get on there. I did consider writing some things for Storyfire, but I'm not sure yet. There's a lot of things that I want to do, um, but we'll see. So I asked, uh, what encouraged you to be a teacher and are your parents okay with getting back together with Jesse? So what encouraged me to be a teacher, I've always said it, said that I want to be a teacher ever since I was little. Um, it was honestly the only thing I knew. I went to school every day with a teacher in front of the classroom every day and I was like, I want to do what they do. They look like they're having fun. It was that and then also my aunt is a teacher and I could really tell that she loves what she does and then one time she did bring me into the classroom during the summertime to prep for the new school year and I just really loved the experience of like organizing things and getting things ready and the whole classroom setting. I just, I love the whole thing. I love working with kids so I worked at a preschool for a while. Um, yeah, I just, I, I just really loved working with children. And then the second question, are your parents okay with getting back together with Jesse? Not really, but um, I'm in a different state and it is what it is. Pro Gamer asks, what is your favorite Christmas movie slash song? My favorite Christmas movie is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. If you've not seen that, please go watch it. And my favorite Christmas song is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> I'm on literally the last question. Let me get in a question. Oh, is she cute? Can you stop it and restart it? Is she cute? Yes. This is the last one. Yeah. All right, I'll ask it. All right, last question. He just now decides to join. Larry Bryant, have you ever been to a Philadelphia Eagles game or do you want to go in the future? I've never been. Wait, really? Yeah, but I've always wanted to go. You've been to a Phillies game. I've been to a Phillies. A couple times. How about a Flyers animals. game? No. No. So no Flyers or no. I know, but I think it'd be interesting. You never been to a Philadelphia Eagles game? Yeah. Aren't you like a big Eagles supporter? Yeah. They were always more expensive the tickets than just a Phillies game. So you'd want to go to one in the future? <laughs> yeah, but then again, in five like, years. But then again, it's like outside and it's cold and it just looks miserable. I'd rather watch it on TV. It doesn't. It's not like freezing cold if you go to like a fall game. I've been to a tailgate. Yeah. If that counts as going to an Eagles game. 
It's but part then, of the then experience. I went home and then watched the game. And you get like chili, you get like a cheesesteak while you're watching the game. I feel yeah, like but you can't do that if there's so much other I mean, yeah, you're not going to be to a game you. for a long time anyway, but I'm sure she'd love to go. If I asked her, she'd be down. Yeah. Or her next boyfriend or whoever, you know? My next boyfriend? Yeah. I think I'm just why is it in a, why is it a group Q&A? Oh, because that should be my channel. This is my channel. Notice how like, I had to insert myself into this one. Like, <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, Subscribe, please. drop likes. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye. Okay, guys, so I think that's enough questions. I need some water. Hold on, let me go get my water. <laughs> if I did not get to your question, I apologize. But if you still want your questions asked, please follow Jesse's Twitch over at McDruggerNuggets. Um, we'll be doing more frequent streams. That way you can go in in the chat ask your question and I'll be able to answer it live. I think that's a lot cooler than this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for asking all of your questions. I really enjoyed doing this and I also enjoyed everybody's pictures of their Christmas trees. Everybody's Christmas trees are so beautiful. That is one of my favorite things about Christmas is Christmas trees. If it were up to me, I would keep up this Christmas tree all year round, but I know that's not socially acceptable. But, you know, who cares? And two, I don't think anybody's gonna be coming in this house anytime soon, so I might just keep this tree up all year round because this thing is so, Jenny, she just dropped her ball down the steps. <laughs> if you've lasted this far into this video, you are my true hero. So here's your next challenge. <laughs> Send me a picture of your favorite ornament that is on your Christmas tree and why. For as long as I can remember, my mom has always put glass hearts on the Christmas tree. I just feel like they're so delicate and beautiful and they're just, I love how the light reflects off of them too. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining and I hope I answered all of your questions. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like this video, like, 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 like. Click it right now and yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.